these aerator tines are on a cam. And so when the PTO is moving, they all move at different times and they plunge into the ground. So yeah, this guy's starting up an airplane over here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I would put the drone up to see what the fields look like from the air, but I'm not sure I can because we're so close to the airport. It might not allow me to take off, so we're gonna have to see. So he's gonna start aerating this field, not the whole field, just where he's seated. So he's gonna start aerating. And then on the back of the John Deere here, we got what's called a verticutter, and this just slices up the soil. So basically, he's gonna aerate. Then I'll fall behind with that and verticut it. And uh, then it'll be swept with that machine over there. So I'm all done over there. It's just getting swept now. Dad's seeding this field. So then after that, it's gotta be aerated in vertical. We're gonna go and uh, flag some sprinkler heads. So see how long that takes. All right, we're here at the field we need to mark. We got a gator over there. And then I'm gonna go down the shop down there and monitor the clock. So we'll turn the clocks off for different zones while we flag. All right, so here at the clock to run the tests. He's going out. He's gonna go down near where zone one is. I'm gonna turn zone one on. He'll spray paint around him. And uh, we'll just go from there. All right, so I'm gonna turn it manual watering. Start watering. Oop, run. There we go. One eternity later. Alright guys. 
update. We are on number 32. About halfway there, basically. Many unbearable hours later. All right, so we're all done, at least at this field for tonight. All right, guys, so I'm currently driving the John Deere Gator back to the shop because this isn't ours. We just borrowed it for today, so we got to bring it back. All right, Gator's all put away. All right, guys, so we are done for tonight. Got all the equipment parked. and uh, see what restaurants are around there, so. Morning guys, it's currently uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, just woke up here, gonna get dressed and then uh, gonna go try to figure out what we're doing. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're back at sort of the staging area. These are all sweepings from yesterday. We got a dump truck coming down to haul that out, but first we need to pile it up, so I'm gonna hop in the bobcat and we're gonna pile that. So I've never run a bobcat before, but sure I'll figure it out. <laughs> Much, much, much later. All right, guys, so we're in the truck now. We got the John Deere on the trailer, and we're headed to the uh, second job. So we're going to go bring the John Deere over there, we'll load it, then we're going to go back. We're going to grab the Massey, and we're going to bring that over. All right, so here we are. This is the field over there. We're going to be working around that. we got to get this unloaded first, though. Look at this guys. This is a brand new version of the diesel that we have. That is way nicer than the one that is on ours. Basically the same thing though, just modernized a little bit. Alright, we're back. Second piece of equipment. Alright guys, we're back. We got the smallest tractor and the deep tie narrator, but we won't be using this today because it's missing a part, so can't use it, but we're gonna get it moved over here because that's the next step after we do what we're gonna do. So I don't know if I mentioned that this is where the 1980s Olympic speed skating was held at this speed skating oval here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out these tines before we get started here.
right guys so we got the coriorator going but I stopped verticutting because it's not doing anything it's way too wet it's just mushing the plugs down and it's getting stuck to the roller and then the blades aren't actually digging into anything so we're gonna have to hold off on that till the plugs dry that grass pile into a dump truck so it can be brought to the dump so I'm um, gonna go use the grapple bucket on the bobcat we'll get that all loaded up and hauled off to the dump so I think it should be like one or two dump trucks I'm not exactly sure so shouldn't be that bad so that's what we're gonna do next here at the big field we marked heads sprinkler heads at yesterday the goal is to core aerate and uh, verticut as much as we possibly can so as you see dad's got a pretty good head start on me we got the John Deere back from the oval because we weren't gonna be able to verticut that today so we brought it back got the roller cleaned off so she's ready for action we got a lot to do, so let's get to it.
guys, that's it. We got five fields done. Well, just, we got four fields done and one aerated, but we're not gonna be able to verticut that tonight. That's just finishing up there real quick with the uh, core aerator. So they're gonna have to verticut that field in the morning and do core and verticut one more. But that's all we're gonna be able to do for tonight because it's getting dark and we have to drive all the way home tonight. So just waiting for dad to finish there and then we'll get the aerator unhooked from the tractor, get it loaded on the trailer and then we'll be headed home. But that's it for the work we're gonna be doing on this job. We'll probably be back up at another time, so let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and like me to film another one when we come up again. But thanks for watching, I'll see y'all next time.